a good day guys today uh, i will show to you how to make a unit test unit test in in an api node api so in the, in the next part also i will show to you how to make uh, integration testing so unit test and integration test is different because in unit test you will be testing your functions here in the use cases while in the integration test is you will be testing your routes or your endpoints so, the, so now we will be creating unit test so i have i'm already done with the test but i will just comment it out and we will test one by one so let me comment this first <coughs> first we will be making our uh, by the way uh, we will be using just just uh, package in this testing so there are many uh, test package that i know uh, i mean they're just there are just two just and mocha so you can search another testing packages there the npm so first this is our test suites so if you have many use cases like say employees customers suppliers so each have different files here so different test suites the first is uh, but before that uh, <coughs> i i made the uh, uh what do you call this a separate database for testing so every time when i run the script here in the package JSON, the this test, I mean script, npm run new test. Uh, then it will set the the process node env. I mean before all, it will set set the node env to test, and it will connect in this database testing database. So it will not be connecting to this development database. So also in the connection this is the for the sqlize which i uh, made a tutorial in the clean architecture so for insert and update will be and delete we will be using sqlize while in the selecting we will be using the pg or just the postgres uh, package so here if the env is development or production so it will choose i uh, will it will connect the in this configuration but if in if the env is test so it will connect in this uh, database which is here so this is the main database and for testing is the database so in my navicat here this is the for the test and this is for the actual i mean for the development or production whatever environment you have you have so this is for uh I mean for our uh, development while in our testing database we don't have data yet so let's make our first test so for to make our test uh, test uh, select for our testing uh, function so here is our function from our use cases is here so we will be selecting all the employees so the rest must be to be defined it must not be undefined <coughs> so let's just control log the rest so we can know what is the result okay, uh, new test. so npm run new test is our script here in our package json here <coughs> so let's run So it returned an empty array because we don't have data yet. So it passed. It is passed. So let's try. And next, we will be testing our insert function. So after this test, it must have a data in our database. It may be inserted there. So all fields have value. So we have in our entities the validations must have first name last name and age so it is it have all 
data here i i used just a random string package in the node uh, i mean npm so the rest must be i mean the we will be expecting that the result of this function after inserting is this uh, string which is from here in our function if it is successfully inserted to return this uh, <coughs> uh, string or message so let's try So this object is what we will be inserting. So it is successful, all fields. So when we check our in our database, so there it inserted uh, this. So next uh, test is what if there are missing fields? For example, this part. So in this part is we don't have a last name, it is null. So in the try catch it will fall in the catch, I mean in the error part. So the error must be please enter last name which is from our entities here. So let's save and run. Then we will try to make an error, we will change the return here in our entity after that. If it is really working. So this pass, so let's try to change here. Let's enter last name. <laughs> so it should be an error because the expected error is not the same anymore. I mean the, ex the expected uh, return. There, there's an error. So the expected is no hehe, <laughs> but we receive with a hehe. <laughs> so let's just undo what we have done so you can uh, for simplicity i just made this uh, testing but you can also test uh, here in the insert we we also have a scenario that can be tested like this uh, if the name is already exist <coughs> employee already exists you can test these two and also uh, uh, this uh, error if if the database return an error let's say in the age uh, the data type is integer so if you put an, an string it must return this uh, string here so you can try it out so next is for our update here <coughs> So for our update is first is we select an employee so this must have an uh, data already because we inserted uh, an employee here in the above test so after we select an employee uh, minus the length of the array and minus one then we get the ID then we make the object to be updated so it must return this string employee updated successfully from this function which is here so let's try so it's passed so let's make this an error so by changing the string from put a haha it must be an error because it's not it is not the same anymore so there but it is passed because it fall we must expect it in the catch part if it is an error but you can you can just see it in the lugs so it is an error just undo so all errors is you must expect in the catch part, in the catch block of code. Like in the next test is if there are required uh, required fields which are missing. Like so. Just the same. Uh, select an employee then. We don't have a first name here. So it, it falls into the block 
here in the error part which we must expect uh, it is enter first name from our uh, entity here here so let's try So it is it is passed. So let's change here. Let's put on hoo hoo. Must be an error. There, there's an error because it's not the same. Can be. So lastly is the delete test. So all this function came from our use cases here. It's just all this function. Oh, I forgot to show the database. So here's the database already. So if you see an eight page, so it is insert. Then if it is already nine, meaning it is from uh, update already. So it is working. So lastly is the delete. So select an employee, then pass the ID to delete. So it will just return this string from this uh, function here. Here. So it is passed. So let's just change the string here. So it must be error because it's not the same anymore. But it will just console log because it must be here. Here, sample like that. So that's all for the unit test. So in the next part, I will show to you the integration testing. Uh, by the way, I will just push this in the repository so you can have a look there. That's all, guys. Thank you.